Unit 2. Amazing Animals A mouse in her room woke Miss Dowd. She was frightened and screamed very loud. Then a happy thought hit her. To scare off the critter, she sat up in bed and meowed. Anonymous There was a young lady of Niger who smiled as she rode on a tiger. They returned from the ride with the lady inside and the smile on the face of the tiger. Cosmo Monkhouse There was an old man with a beard who said, It is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren, have all built their nests in my beard. Edward Lear The Big Idea What can animals teach us? Weekly Concept Literary Lessons Essential Question What are some messages in animal stories? Animal Tales Look at the photograph. If you wrote a story about this squirrel, what words would you use to describe him? Is he brave, greedy, clever, foolish? What would the message of the story be? What are some animal stories you know that teach a lesson? Talk about it. Write words you have learned about messages in animal stories. Talk with a partner about how animal stories show how people should behave. Vocabulary Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Attracted The brightly colored flower attracted a butterfly. Attracted Attracted means drew the attention of. Attracted Attracted means drew the attention of. Dazzling. The fireworks in the night sky were bright and dazzling. Dazzling. Something dazzling is so bright that it is almost blinding. Dazzling. Something dazzling is so bright that it is almost blinding. Fabric. The girl's towel and clothes are made from fabric. Honest. Leo was honest and told his mother the truth about the broken window. Requested. The customer requested service from the waiter.
soared. The seagull soared upward, high over the ocean. Trudged. The tired hikers trudged slowly up the path. Your turn. Pick three words. Write three questions for your partner to answer. Genre: folktale. The fisherman and the kaha bird. Essential question: What are some messages in animal stories? Read how a poor fisherman is helped by the kaha bird. Long ago, there lived an old fisherman who made his pitiful living catching fish. All day, the old man sat on the riverbank waiting for the fish to bite, but he never had more than one or two small fish to sell at the market. He and his wife were always hungry. One morning, the tired old fisherman trudged slowly to the river. Suddenly, a great bird with bright, dazzling silver feathers settled in the tree above him. The delighted fisherman knew this was the magnificent kaha, a glittering bird that occasionally appeared to help the poor or the sick. "I see you work for very little reward," the kaha said. "I wish to help." Every day, I will bring a large fish to your house that you can sell at the market. The old man couldn't believe his luck. As the days passed, the honest kaha kept her promise. The fisherman sold the fish and came home with plenty of food. Soon, he was bringing home clothing made from brightly colored silk fabric for his wife. At the market one day, the shah's crier made an announcement. Find the great kaha for our eminent shah and receive a reward of fifty bags of gold. The fisherman thought, "If I had fifty bags of gold, I would be rich." But how can I betray the bird? He argued with himself until finally his greed for gold blinded him to the generosity of the kaha bird. He told the shah's crier about the kaha and requested assistance in catching her. He asked for four hundred men to help him. That evening, four hundred servants followed the fisherman home. They hid among the trees as the fisherman set out a feast to tempt the bird. When the kaha landed in a tree, the old man said, "Come dine with me, dear friend. I wish to express my gratitude." The kaha, touched by the fisherman's kindness and attracted to the delicious meal, flew down to join him. Immediately, the fisherman grabbed the kaha by the feet and cried out to the servants to help him. The startled kaha spread her wings. She began to fly up with the fisherman pulling at her. A servant caught the fisherman by the feet, but the bird rose higher. A second and third servant grabbed onto the first until soon four hundred servants hung by one another's feet as the kaha soared upward. Looking down, the fisherman could just barely see the river below. If he hadn't betrayed the kaha, he would not be in this predicament. There was but one thing to do. 
The fisherman let go of the great bird's feet. The servants and the fisherman tumbled from the sky and landed in the river. It was many weeks before the fisherman had healed enough to fish again. Every day the old fisherman looked up at the sky for a sign of the beautiful silver bird, but the kaha was never seen again. Make Connections Talk about the message in this story. What would you tell the fisherman to convince him not to betray the kaha bird? Ask and answer questions. When you read a story, you can ask questions before, during, and after you read to help you understand the story. As you read The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird, look for answers to questions you may have about the story. Find text evidence. You may want to know why the fisherman is poor. Reread the first paragraph of The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird on page 95 to find the answer. Long ago there lived an old fisherman who made his pitiful living catching fish. All day the old man sat on the riverbank waiting for the fish to bite, but he never had more than one or two small fish to sell at the market. He and his wife were always hungry. I read that the fisherman catches one or two small fish a day. Therefore, he does not make much money when he sells them. Your turn. Reread the first two pages of The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird and list two questions you have about the Kaha Bird. Find the answers in the text. Folk tale. The selection, The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird, is a folk tale. Folk tales are based on the traditions and beliefs of a people, usually teach a lesson, often use animal characters to symbolize or represent a human quality. Find text evidence. I can tell that The Fisherman and the Kaha Bird is a folk tale. The story takes place long ago. The people believed in the Kaha bird, and the Kaha bird symbolizes a human quality. S Your turn. Think about the ending of the story. Discuss whether or not this folktale teaches a lesson. Write about the text. I responded to the prompt. Write a letter from the Kaha bird to the fisherman explaining why he will never see her again. Use details from the text. Dear Fisherman, After all the fish I brought you, you tricked me. You said you were thanking me with a delicious meal. Instead, you tried to capture me so that the Shah would give you fifty bags of gold. From now on, please stop looking up at the sky for me. You will never see me again, because I cannot trust you, and I don't help greedy people. Sincerely, Kaha Strong Opening My beginning introduces the situation and makes readers want to read more. Transitions I use the word instead to relate events. Inferences I made an inference about what the Kaha would think and do. Grammar Always capitalize proper nouns such as names. Your turn. Write a letter of apology from the fisherman to the Kaha bird. Use details from the text.